So um, this is uh, going to be a test. Christmas has come early in the Telford Court Pond household. Got home um, last week and there was a parcel waiting for me. Open the parcel and it is a Cactoidy water parameter device. Um, and I believe this is the seven in one device. So I'm um, going to do an unboxing. As you can see, it's still in a nice shiny cellophane cover in a minute. I haven't touched it at all. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's open the box and see what's inside. You will have noticed, uh, or you've probably seen the likes of um, Derby Coy and Siphon Up North Coy have done uh, reviews on similar sort of products, but I think this is the latest one. This is, as I say, the 7-in-1 wireless um, parameter testing device. So yeah, I'm gonna crack it open and then you can, you can see what's inside, basically. Handy little tool. Thank you, Oazi. I had this little tiny little multi tool. This is my Christmas present from Oazi last uh, last year, and it's been uh, it's been well used over the last twelve months. But anyway, let's get this open. I do like a do like a good unboxing. I do like a good box. Now, uh, clearly, in the in the boxing stakes, Apple Apple products. Are hands down winners for me because whatever you uh, whatever you seem to buy from them, their boxes are like uh, so good. They're almost airtight. But this, oh, look at that! Very satisfying. Anyway, as I say, I do like a good box. So this is the uh, Cactoily 7-in-1 wireless monitor. There is a user, user manual. So my normal approach is to disregard this and just go in uh, like a bull in the china shop. Only I'm really, really, really interested in seeing how this performs. So um, I am actually gonna read this first before I set it all up. So I like pictures as well. Big tick in the box there rather than just loads and loads of words. So uh, it looks very comprehensive but i will tell you after i've read it and inside the box uh we have a plastic stand so i think that i think the the device fits in there then you can screw it to the side of your filter chamber or whatever you're going to put it on lead one and then you've got the actual measuring device with uh i don't know if you'll see that but maximum level and minimum level very very clearly marked um, very impressive about this as well. The probes are actually platinum, so they're in. Looks like they're encased in water at the moment. So obviously I'll need to take those off before they go in the pond. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. And then you've got the actual, the actual unit which lights up, and then that gives you the uh, the seven parameters on there. Um, so the seven parameters that you'll see probably best if you. I don't know whether you'll pick that up on there. But you've got salinity, so the amount of salt, you've got total dissolved solids, TDS. It gives you the temperature. It gives you a specific gravity, so that's the weight of um, I think it's the weight of water at a certain temperature. It's got ORP, which a lot of people are interested in at the moment, and that's the oxidization reduction potential. And that basically is a measure of how good the uh, water is actually cleaning itself, which is really good. You've got um, electric conductivity, and then you've also got pH in the middle there. So it gives you all those parameters. So um, I've been using um, other devices to, to do a similar sort of thing, but obviously only TDS, temperature uh, and pH. So that's my uh, Pond Guardian. Leaving the Pond Guardian in and up and running just as a, basically as a test to see how close they are. So uh, so that's, that's it. There is another box here, but I presume that's just the, uh, that's the plug. Ooh. whole raft of bits and pieces so there's two plugs with USB uh, input there's a raft of test sachets so we've got pH uh, pH 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 yeah so these are the pH uh, so you can manually calibrate and set up the pH got some stickies which I presume 
yeah which has go on the back of there you can't really see black on black but they go on the back of there if you want to stick that to the side of your uh, your filter so they just pop in there you've got some magnets that's a good idea so you can stick these magnets yeah you can stick those magnets to the back of there stick a magnet to the inside of your filter or wherever you're putting this they are quite strong by the looks of it there you go and then obviously you can then stick that to the back of your filter which is a good idea and then it's got the uh, the screws which i'm presuming will go in the back of there yeah so they obviously go back in there put your device through there somehow there we go that's a, that's a nice tight fit as well and then obviously you can screw that up to uh, wherever you you're putting that on the back of the filter so all in all very nicely packaged looks like good sturdy equipment i'm impressed with the bits and pieces that come with it i'm impressed with the uh with the instructions so as i say i'm going to um, gonna have a proper read of these and then we're going to the filter house and i'll set it all up and i'll show you it running so catch you in a bit thank you